Today is shaping up to be a carbon copy of yesterday, yes. and no complaints about that. It was nearly absolutely perfect outside. Actually, George, did you get out there and ride the bike? As nice of a day as it was, you didn't? I slept all afternoon. Oh my How gosh. bad is that? I rode my bike. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. You rode your bike more than I did? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Went far, but you know, it was something. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try to even it out this weekend. Okay. In fact, there's, I know you will. Uh, there's a lot of events going on this weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up if you do want to get outside and play. And today's going to be a day that you are going to want to play. But a cool start to the day for your children are maybe riding the bus to school this morning. It's going to be a little cool on the bus. Temps near 50 at 7 and upper 70s by 3 if you do do want to go for a bicycle ride this afternoon, just like Libby tries to do every day. <laughs> tries. <laughs> Giving you some credit here. Yeah, as far as your weekend, we're going to see cool mornings ahead. We're also going to have temps nearing 80 during the days, breezy and dry, and we then we're going to see some changes for next week as we're going to see rain and thunderstorm chances increasing toward Tuesday and Thursday. Now, the temps this morning are in the 40s and 50s. Bartlesville, you're beginning your morning at 41. It's 52 in Bristow, 53 in Okima, upper 40s in Ogmulgee, and also McAllister, and mid 40s toward Venita and also in the Grand Lake area. Temps this morning here in Tulsa, right now we're at 49, so probably want a light jacket this morning. You won't need it very long with the sunshine, but at least to begin the day, you probably do want something to briefly try and keep you warm. Now, on the future track for today, it shows a lot of sunshine across the state this afternoon and, into the, and into the evening. We're going to be staying dry with the clear skies here. It's possible we could see a few high thin clouds, but we're not expecting anything significant. Now, tomorrow morning, you will notice a few changes in that we are going to see a few more areas of clouds tomorrow. A cold front is going to stall to our north in Kansas, up near Kansas City. Now, while that front is going to remain to our north. Some of the clouds associated with that front will push their way into Oklahoma. If you're driving toward Kansas City tomorrow, if you're driving or flying toward St. Louis, a few showers and thunderstorms possible that direction. Now, as far as the severe weather risk, as you know, we're moving into May and this is normally one of the stormiest parts of the year. No risk of severe weather anywhere really across the country. There will be some thunderstorms from the Rockies through the central plains with that cool front and also along the east coast. There are some areas of rain this morning in the Carolinas and we'll see a chance for a few thunderstorms that way this afternoon. Here in Tulsa, no thunderstorms, just lots of sunshine, high reaching 79, warm afternoon, light southeast wind, and then tonight clear skies and cool again by tomorrow morning. This means if you do have something planned tomorrow morning for your Saturday morning, we're going to see temps in the 50s, but we're going to warm up fairly quickly. Another change you're going to notice for your weekend is that We'll have more wind breezy on Saturday with stronger <laughs> wind for Sunday. Next week we'll see rain and thunderstorms increasing. Right now it looks like the bulk of the rain with this next north with this next storm system will occur Wednesday and Thursday. Max